afternoon. My name is Min Sal Kibalan. I'm a software engineer with Universal Equations. Today we're tasked with discussing the nofollow attribute. Actually, we're actually discussing the way that this, uh, the changes that Google has made or the additions that Google has made to this particular attribute. So if you have a website, if you're working on a website, then this will be uh, of interest to you. If, uh, like I said, if you have a website, then you can make sure your webmaster is familiar with this change um, slash addition to the nofollow attribute. But before we go into this, let's let's give it a little context because uh, it fascinates me how the content that we put on the web, and it may put this may put some of y'all to sleep, but it fascinates me that the content that we put on the web. Uh, algorithms are seeking to analyze that content. So as a web developer, sometimes we want to give hints uh, to those algorithms as to how we want our content to be analyzed. And so what's being analyzed? The no follow attribute is something that we put inside our anchor tags. Our anchor tags, those are things with the uh, open angle bracket A with the href. That's what tells the browser to go from your page to another page. Yes, those links are analyzed uh, heavily. <laughs> um, so yes, we, we do uh, have an interest in telling those algorithms how we want our hyperlinks to be analyzed. Or we put in a no follow attribute. We say, okay, we don't endorse this link. It's on my page, we don't endorse it. So we're saying don't follow it, right? Because if these uh, algorithms follow the links on your page. You know, fascinates me, it may put you to sleep. So uh, this no follow attribute uh, gets put inside uh, inside a rel, uh, a rel attribute really. It's really uh, a value of a rel attribute. But there's more, there's more than this one. Again, the no follow attribute basically says, don't follow this, um, I'm not giving it an uh, endorsement. And there, there are reasons, there are reasons for that. But there's two now, because again, the web has evolved. This no follow attribute was introduced in 2005. Now, of course, in 2019, a lot of things have changed uh, since then. A lot of people are exchanging ideas over the internet. People are buying things, uh, et cetera. People are advertising things, et cetera. Things have changed uh, since then. So the, so the two new attributes that have been added, one is called UGC. UGC stands for user generated content. These are your blog posts, comments, et cetera. Um, Obviously, um, if you've been on the web, and I know a lot of you, most of you uh, have been, um, there's a lot of content to where people are commenting on it or they're um, posting, et cetera. So you may want to tell those algorithms that the links to these uh, blog posts, et cetera, is user-generated content. It's just, it's just giving those algorithms a hint. The next uh, attribute, in addition to the nofollow and the UGC, is something called sponsored. Now this has to do with content that is actually a advertisement. I mean, there's some kind of compensation agreement, you know, um, pay per click, et cetera. So you may wanna tell the algorithms that this is the purpose of this particular hyperlink. This is the purpose of this particular uh, connection to some other content, to some other uh, website. So I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, again, if, uh, if you work on if you work on websites, you know, take note of this. See what's any use to you. Uh, if you have someone working on your website, if you have a webmaster doing that, make sure they are aware of this. Um, you all have an amazing weekend. Uh, thank you. Peace.